A new initiative in North Buffalo aims to add to the growing popularity of Hurdle Avenue. As News News4's Erica Brecker explains, the Hurdle Alley Street Art Festival will brighten a forgotten alleyway and transform it into a destination. Erica? Don, there's a lot of pride in North Buffalo, especially along Hurdle Avenue, a strip that's been exponentially growing over the past couple of years. But a lesser-known side street hasn't gotten a lot of love until now. It's not an intersection you cross on Hurdle. Instead, Hurdle Alley runs parallel from Traymore to Colvin. It looks forlorn, and artist Vincent Alejandro is excited to change that. 100% change, just uh, uh, brightening it up, um, adding some individuality to the walls, and also uh, giving people something to look at, something positive to look at besides just the backs of the buildings. You may recognize Alejandro's work from elsewhere in the city. He's painted murals throughout South Buffalo and elsewhere. Alejandro was working with Common Council member Joel Ferroletto to expand upon the public art that already decorates the length of Hurdle Avenue. This area could definitely use some love, so we decided to turn something that may be a negative into something very positive. We started the, the website hurdlewalls.com, and there's a lot of people checking out the website, and we're, we really see Hurdle Avenue as a destination for people that want to look at public art. Business and building owners are on board, including the corporate-owned Sunoco at Colvin. Alejandro will also paint a homeowner's fence. The owner of Mimo Decor believes it will help local business. It has for other businesses, and um, I'm just excited to see, you know, the different artists and, um, you know, the way that their pieces will play off one another. Several artists are volunteering their talents this weekend. They're coming in free, so it's, it's kind of a, a cool thing that they get to just create what they want and make something that people can see and they can sign it. And um, there are a lot of local artists involved in the project. Meanwhile, Hurdle Avenue, which continues to welcome new businesses, keeps on growing. This is just another reason for people to come visit Hurdle Avenue, and this adds to the walkability. Hurdle is one of the only walkable neighborhoods in the entire region, and adding public art makes it more walkable, and it makes it more of a destination. The Hurdle Alley Street Art Festival takes place this weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. And if there wasn't already enough happening on Hurdle, North Park Theater is hosting its restoration reveal party tomorrow night. That's to show off all the renovations for phase two of improving the historic Hurdle Avenue Theater. Erica Brecker, News 4.